Some of the common problems you'll find in a 2v1 situation, and this is transferred into a 3v2 situation and sometimes magnified because there's more players there. Um, there. There's two main ones, so let's focus on those two main ones first of all. Uh, that is angle of run from the ball carrier or from the attackers. And that, that's created when the ball carrier comes around the corner and goes off in towards the center of the grid, denying width and area for the support player to come into. And what that allows our defender to do is have a nice easy track across that denies width, that denies um, opportunity to create ultimately the two-on-one and bypass the defender. The second issue that you'll find is quite common is that the support player overruns the ball carrier and we get a forward pass. Now the key crucial point about that is, one of the crucial points about that is that remember we talked already about the ball carrier creating depth by accelerating. All right. Now in this drill environment they have to accelerate when they get around the corner in a game environment as soon as they catch the ball, they should be accelerating. That starts to create depth. The support player then can start to learn about <coughs> delaying their run, knowing when to accelerate onto a ball or, or accelerate into space. And then after that, good communication. So the three things there are angle of run of the ball carrier, depth of the support player, but again, that is also reliant on the ball carrier. And the third thing is the type of communication we want our support player to be giving our ball carrier. We've talked also about the visual cues our ball carrier should be looking at. If our defender goes off too early and our ball carrier comes up here and passes the ball, all right, in which case this, this person is probably defended by this player, with our attacker there is not looking at the visual cues of the defender, the shoulders of the defender, if they turn early and they start to go, that's a visual cue for our ball carrier to step inside, potentially do a show and go. We want our ball carriers to be confident with the ball and have a crack, but it's all dependent on the visual cues that the defender is giving. Common problems to look out for when we're running these drills.